old image of Miss Oh, let's give a round of applause, please. Drum, please sound. Today's event represents a special coming together of many peoples from many places. We have engaged a broad section of our community, and indeed today, as you found yourself welcomed to this, uh, this very special and sacred place on the shores of what we know as Georgian Bay, known always to the Ojibwe as Minidugami, the, the lake, the great sacred lake of the spirit. On these shores, Francis Pagamagabo stood, lived his life, raised his family. It was from these shores that Francis Pagamagabo departed to find his way overseas to the First World War. Francis, um, he continues to be known as the most decorated Canadian Aboriginal soldier of all time for bravery. Uh, he served in World War I as both a scout and a sniper, and indeed to this day, as per his military record, continues to be the most accomplished sniper in North American mil military history. So really quite a, a prolific member of the Canadian Army. Francis Pagamagabo, also following the war, had uh, quite an accomplished political career. Uh, he became chief twice of the Wasaxing First Nation and also was very, um, say, instrumental in the emerging national Aboriginal rights movement of the time. It is an honor, not only as the commander of the Canadian Army, but also as the champion for Aboriginal people, for the National Department of National Defense to be here today. Like the National Chief Bergard, I would not want to be anywhere else but here, here to acknowledge in front of all of you the participation and the contribution of this great hero. blowing me away to see the number of people here, clearly from not only the town but from elsewhere as well, to have uh, representatives of the Canadian forces here as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a day of celebration, a day of memory, uh, as I said, a day of reconciliation, but uh, we, I really felt that this was one of the centres of the country for National Aboriginal Day. And I wanted to be here today to witness everything we've seen, everything we've heard, everything we saw. And what, what, what I saw and what I witnessed here is something that's so beautiful to see. And that's a coming together of our peoples, both indigenous and non-indigenous. I see that happening here. Witnessing the, the armed forces, how they blended both First Nations culture as part of the ceremony. Um, the saluting of the Eagle Staffs, just equally as important as the flags and the colors. Like, it was so well done. You know, and uh, I just want to acknowledge all the organizers. And uh, I wanted to be part of this just to be in my small way to help honor the legacy of Francis Pegamagabo because I said he's not only a leader on the battlefield, what he did, he came back and he was also a leader here at Wasoxing, being a chief here. And so it was a very, very special day. I think this day is long overdue and uh, it's just great to see this uh, beautiful statue that's been created here right on the shore of, of Georgian Bay in an absolutely beautiful location and I think will inspire uh, our First Nation youth and, and others to uh, learn about the, our history and this great individual. This is, this is a coming together of, of communities, coming together of peoples. Uh, to move forward I think in, in one direction and you know if it takes Francis to do it I think it's a it's a great honor because his life was one of sacrifice commitment and uh, courage you know he didn't have to go to war I mean it was certainly something that First Nations people didn't have to do but he did and uh, you know he met the challenge and a challenge that uh, 
drew him a certain amount of recognition. It's just too bad that, you know, the recognition couldn't have come sooner. Uh, but I, I hope that as Canadians we've moved forward, uh, certainly in a positive way of coming together so that we're more acceptance and, uh, you know, just inclusive.